Oops. <laughs> kind of killed the stream there for just a second. My bad, guys. Uh, don't worry about that. Hopefully everyone's still here. They should be. I mean, it was literally just a second. Anyways, hello, guys. Hello. This music is absolutely beautiful. You are 100% correct about that, Rue. It, uh, it is really, really good. I... It's sad. <laughs> I don't know if anyone here knows anything about Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 or not. It's a uh, it's a sad game. Um, it's a good game. It's a, it's a really good game. Uh, it it it's an older game. It's not perfect, right? I I would have preferred uh, the turn based combat of something like regular Final Fantasy 7, just as an example. But, you know, that's not what they decided to go with. They went more action-oriented. And I don't think it's the best combat system in the world, but at least it is kind of interesting. Um, but the story as a whole is very sad. It's... Fuck it, I cried, dude, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, I don't want to get too spoiler-heavy for Final Fantasy VII Remake or Original or anything like that, so I'm not going to say uh, anything spoilery per se except for i as far as i'm aware the story of this game follows the story of crisis core final fantasy 7 phase faithfully final fantasy 7 remake changes things uh the ending of this game while still canon isn't necessarily canon to final fantasy 7 remake um so it's weird i don't but from everything i've read this is the same game that i played growing up just you know looks prettier so that's what i'm expecting more or less but i guess we'll find out you don't want to find out Rue? yeah here you are why don't you want to find out man and chocobo thank you so much man and for that final fantasy 10 vote i like it i like it speaking of um uh noodle do you have before we actually get into the game do you have a uh, pick for your votes for your five votes a single game that you would like to put it on any game we're gonna get started in just a couple of minutes but uh yeah <laughs> Rue can't handle sad. Rue is an emotional bitch. Um, well, thankfully, it's not like super sad in the beginning or anything like that. It uh, just progressively gets more sad as it goes on. And the ending, seriously, uh, when I was younger, got to me. It really, really did. Um, we, I, I don't have a planned schedule for this game. Uh, and I'm tempted to play through it on my Steam Deck. <laughs> like, Because I think that's the whole reason why I bought it on PC instead of on the PlayStation 5. Um, is because of the Steam Deck. But I do think we're going to end up playing this one on stream. I just don't know the exact days or anything like that. Uh, but it, it's... I mean, I think you all know at this point Final Fantasy 7 is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, the story around Final Fantasy 7 as a whole I really love. Uh, so yeah, I want to I wanna do that. Uh, one of these days, I would love to play through the original Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII Remake, like actually play through it, all of all of that stuff as well. And Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus, although it's the, the weakest link of the bunch, I, I would like to play through it on stream. Just so everybody can see the entire story of Final Fantasy VII, minus, I guess, the, uh, uh, the movie, uh, which the name of I'm forgetting for some reason uh fuck that's annoying i have it here somewhere but my disc got fucked up over the years it's annoying but i mean i could still buy it again from amazon or whatever what is that called final fantasy 7 i believe i want to say it starts with a c too but it's not crisis corp <laughs> advent calendar <laughs> yep <Yeah, but> it's the, <laughs> that's the movie advent children uh Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, yeah. Advent Calendar, I like it. I like it. Uh, what do y'all think? Should I play this with keyboard and mouse or with a controller? <laughs> it was definitely made to be played with a controller uh, originally, like on the PSP. And then it's, I mean, it's out for all the consoles and things. So I feel like it's going to be, yeah, controller. I feel like it's going to be a lot better on controller. I just, I hate Bluetooth controllers on PC. Like, they're, they're somewhat optimized on consoles, but, like, on PC, dude, they just fucking... You get dropouts and lag and all that stuff. But I think we probably are going to try controller. Let me uh, find my Xbox controller real quick.
Well, that didn't take long. I just had to look down. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it connects. This is the right one, right? I have two different Xbox controllers. One was for my gaming laptop. One was for my desktop. Okay, this is the desktop one, I know, because the uh, select button's fucked on it, and I'm too lazy to tear it apart and <laughs> fix it. <laughs> it still works. It just it must have got something on it at some point, because just the select button gets stuck constantly. It's annoying. Come on, connect, you piece of crap. Try again. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And you'll connect. You're gonna connect. Ah, okay. Let's go into Bluetooth settings. Open settings. Oh, don't forget to open my present. Yeah, as soon as I get this controller connected, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and open the present. All right. So delete Xbox controller. Oh wait, never mind. It just connected. <laughs> Do not delete Xbox controller. I take it back. Leave the Xbox controller on. Okay, let's make sure it's working real quick. Yes, excellent. All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open the present. We got like a, uh, oh, because I canceled the stream on accident and then restarted it, it got messed up. The pre-roll got messed up. That's annoying. Well, whatever, we're gonna go ahead and open our present. Hopefully by the time we're done, the uh, pre-roll will be done and over with. Let me, does anybody have a uh, favorite number? First number to pop up in stream wins between one and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First number, seven. Okay. That was the first number. That's what we're going with. <laughs> seven it is. It's another Grogu one. Sorry, Rue, you were just a tiny bit too late there, my guy. It's probably cheating because, like, Noodle's in the same house as me, so <laughs> I imagine that she probably gets better, uh better uh time time i don't know whatever like less less lag latency i don't know words are hard it's another grogu wrapping paper though that's exciting see this is why i need the face cam set up but all right grogu wrapping paper i see the word multiplayer on the back of it multiplayer warfare what is this uh, again like last time i opened it up backwards so I just see the back of the box first the total battlefield experience for the PlayStation 2 entertainment system Eastern Europe 2008 command the ghost an elite handful of specialty trained green berets armed with the latest technology and the deadliest weapons in a mission to keep the lid on a new war before it mushrooms literally <laughs> all the realism sweat and fear from the game of the year Voted PC Game of the Year 2001 by PC Gamer and IGN. What? What was? What would have been the Game of the Year in 2001? Uh, I'm trying to figure it out before I flip it over. I can actually see it, unlike you guys. I have a bit of an advantage here. But, like... <laughs> new console controls includes auto-aiming, new radar, new zoom... Is it, uh... Is it, like, a SOCOM game or something like that? I see it was made by Ubisoft. Oh, never mind. I just got a spoiler. It's Tom Clancy. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Squad Battlefield Combat. Game of the Year. Now for the PlayStation 2 Entertainment System. Okay. I'm in for some Tom Clancy, man. There's also a tag from the place I bought it inside the cover for some reason. Or not that I bought it. That Noodle bought it from. <laughs> that was weird. Whatever. Yeah, Tom Clancy shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I've heard decent things about it. I, I think I may have played a Tom Clancy game at some point growing up. Um, I don't remember which one or anything though. But I, I think I've, I think I've played it. <laughs> one of them. Not this one specifically, but that'll be fun. I'll uh, add that to the list after the stream tonight, if I remember. Splinter Cell. Yeah, no, not Splinter Cell. Again, I think you have, like, a lot of lag, man, <laughs> on your, uh, or was, wait, was Tom Clancy Splinter Cell? Was that, was that, like, one thing? Or was Splinter Cell something separate from Tom Clancy? I don't remember. <laughs> was it Tom Clancy Splinter Cell? That sounds right, almost. 
I played Splinter Spell on or Splinter Cell on stream. Got you, got you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's probably what I was thinking of. I meant when you played. Yeah, <laughs> definitely played Splinter Cell because yes, <laughs> Chocobo's right. We did that on stream. Uh, I already went through the options. The options are kind of bare bone for PC game. It's not like terrible or anything. Just simple graphic stuff and whatnot. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, should we? Yeah, you know what? Change resolution. There we go. It's playing 1440p. Might as well get the highest resolution that we can. Assuming my computer can handle it. <laughs> I mean, it's a 3070, so I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and hop on in, shall we? New game, dude. Uh, we're going to do English, just because that's what I played in growing up. And I'm used to the English voice cast from the remake, and I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Oh, uh, I might regret that. <laughs> we're going hard mode, because like I said, I do plan on actually playing through the entire game, and I usually play through these games, these sort of games, on hard mode. I might regret that doing so on stream, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Uh, inverted vertical, screen brightness, looks good. We'll put it in the middle, leave it at five. Begin game, let's go, dude. I'm super excited, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully all the, uh, screen elements don't get in the way too much. If I have to move stuff around, somebody holler at me. If it's, like, too much in the way, I'll move stuff around. Iconic, dude. I love the intro to this game because it's basically just the intro to Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Well, you think you know what happened to Zack. <laughs> like I said, some some of the canon changed. There's some alt-universe shit going on now. I'm going to turn the game down a little bit after this uh, cutscene. It's a little bit loud, I think. Come and get it! Spoilers. Soldier second class sack on the job. So like, don't get me wrong, the game definitely looks better than it did on the PSP. A lot better than it did on the PSP. But I feel like you can tell they made this game to run on everything, right? <laughs> like, it, it runs on the, the Switch, PC, PS3, 
4, PlayStation 5. I almost said PS3. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it would run on the PS3. It runs on the Switch. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Although, I think the in-game models and textures might actually look a little bit better than the cutscene ones. Making progress, Zach. Angeal, what's going on? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wu Tai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. <laughs> he still you looks so pissed off, man. Eight? Yes. Bo. But first, you're gonna have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Within reason. He's making a kissy it's face. Activating. Okay, so... Oh, Come shit. I can't go into the options yet. The end game volume seems to be a little bit lower than the uh, cutscene volume. I'm still going to turn it down one or two clicks, I think. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Zack's voice actor here, man. Like... <laughs> I, I think I like the original voice actor than the one that we're getting here. Uh, move, attack, guard, dodge. Okay. Left bumper plus right stick for target. I'm gonna forget all that. We got sparks, we got particle effects, man. There's numbers popping up everywhere. I'm in heaven, let's go. This is the tutorial. As long as I don't die in the tutorial, it'll be okay. <laughs> uh, equip material can be used by entering the assigned controls while pressing left bumper. Commands are assigned according to the slots, so you got your quick slot. Oh, wait, is that? Ooh. Oh, okay, so wait a second. This is new. Okay. I like that. The quick menu there for stuff. That's a nice uh, feature. It looks like you can still do it the old way, where you just flip through your... your potions and things but having having all of these uh quick select things here that's pretty dope i like that flipping through everything got took some getting used to piece of cake i'll make first in no time go up the stairs at the end of the platform you got it <laughs> i like angel's voice actor though he's pretty good Hi there, buddy. Activating. We go into the Combat options mode. yet? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> and we got the slots back. Let's go. So the the slots are weird. <laughs> they can they can literally break things at times, man. Like they're usually not too bad, but like whenever you get just infinite uh, AP or MP or or seven seven sevens and stuff like that like it can just it can screw stuff up in a good way it's a lot of fun um but it's random so like you never know when you're gonna get the the roll that you need to to just break the game the slot reel spinning at the top left corner of the screen during battle represents the dmw digital mind wave when certain images or numbers match on the dmw it provides a variety of effects the reel is expend SP to automatically spin and stop. More images are collected as the game progresses. When images match, a limit break is entered and a limit break move is added to your stock. When numbers match, various enhancements are granted according to the number shown. Furthermore, when a number match occurs during a real image limit verge, Zack and or his equipped materia will level up. Press A to dodge, right bumper to guard. Okay. And then that should be lock on. If numbers match when the image reels are not in a limit verge state, certain enhancements can be gained. 777, seven, seven, for example, invincible, 666, six, six. all crits all the time. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some pretty good ones here. 
When the inventory reels are in a limit verge state and numbers between one and six match, the materia set in the corresponding slot levels up. So what materia do we actually have access to right now, Blizzaga? If I remember correctly, I think he might be weak to, to ice. Yeah. Oh. During battle, you can use potions and other items by... Items? Vitamins? <laughs> items by pressing B. No AP cost. Let's go. Assault twist for days. Ow. No MP cost. Let's go, dude. Ban that Blizzaga on him. Ow. Ow. <laughs> dude, we don't even need this potion. Let's go. I really need to turn the game down a little bit. When all the image reels match, a limit break state is entered, and a cor corresponding limit break move is added to your stock. Stocked limit breaks moves. That sentence sounds weird. Stocked limit break moves can be unleashed at a time of your choosing, but they will all vanish at the end of battle. Why do you? Concentrate. I'm feeling it. I'll always just remember the cutscenes from this game, specifically the summon cutscenes. Growing up on the PSP, man, the cutscenes for the summons were the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Like, they blew my mind, especially for being on, you know, a handheld system. Like, it was wow. <laughs> that was dumb. I was way too far away. Get fucked. Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. <sighs> what, what is this? <laughs> Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. <sighs> I'm legit wondering Impossible. if they used the lower quality cutscenes from like the Switch port or something for the PC port. Because the end game models and, and textures look better to me than the cutscenes one do. It's weird. Hmm. Hey, it's Mr. Attractive. That would be Sephiroth. He's kind of a dick. That's Angeal. He's kind of not a dick. Uh, thanks, Angeal. No, Angeal's actually pretty cool. Angeal's a... a Cool guy. I like him. Training's over. Why? You serious? I was just getting warmed up. Zack. Mm -hmm. Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Anybody notice the sword on Angel's back? Just curious. If you don't recognize it, that's fine, too.
this a loading screen? <laughs> I guess that was. Okay. Uh, sure. Save first slot. Let's go. Prologue cleared hard mode. Uh, back. Oh shit, he failed, huh? Kinda sorta, of, yeah. Hey, Zach. You seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this... Training... And no... Assignments! Like they're... Hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy. With everyone off base. Uh... Off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? One of the firsts has deserted. Took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him. <laughs> He's All training, my guy. And yeah, he does gold. do the same exercises. Right There's this some reasons, man. Desertion is why your training's on hold. Zach is intricately linked to... Zach, you're up. Uh, yeah. Cloud. Finally, time for some real action. Yes, it'll be your show. Yes. Report to Director Lazard. There'll be a briefing. Yeah. So in this game, we're we're playing as Zach, who is uh, trying to become a soldier first class. He works for Midgar, the bad guys of Zach. Final Fantasy One. Like, it's good to finally meet face to face. It's interesting to Lazard, see everything from. Soldier. You know, the inside. Compared to Final Fantasy VII, where you're hey, an yeah. eco-terrorist group trying to take down Midgar, you know? <laughs> Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended huh? you for first. <laughs> oh, Angel! I love you, man! <laughs> Angel! Uh. Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir. Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. Let's fucking go, dude. After entering Wutai, we go straight to work. If you have any questions about missions and combat, he can help you. Hey, Zach. Anything you want to know? Just ask. First, we should really go over combat. I love Square Enix games, don't get me wrong, but so many of them start so slow. <laughs> you probably got a handle on it in training. But I sent you a mail explaining the basics. Take a look, okay? As the story progresses, you will receive mail from various people. You can view your mail by going to mail from the main menu. I never would have figured that out. Thank you so much. Uh, when you have unread mail, you can select right bumper from the field menu to open it directly. Check your mail regularly. You can also check tutorials and useful tips from the main menu. Can I get to the main menu now? I can. Awesome. Okay. Let's go to options real quick. I just want to turn down the master volume like... Maybe one more click. Hopefully that evens it out okay. Uh, yes. Save changes. And we got mail. It's just tutorials. I really don't care. <laughs> Maybe we should read the tutorial on how to read mail from our mailbox. Just in case, you know, we don't understand how that works. Shinra shop, uh, in possession 511. That's honestly, that's probably fine for now. Your image real progress, limit break size, limit verge count, and acquired limit breaks can be checked by going to DMW from the main menu. Your image real progress can be advanced from matching reels or watching Zach's, or watching images from Zach's heart. Oh. Is that new? I don't remember the watching images things. Uh, this here is one of the main reasons why I never tried to 100% Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core on the PSP. Because, ooh, no. Fuck that shit, man. Having, like, random level ups and stuff is just too much for me. <laughs> Equipping material allows you to use various magic and abilities or gain beneficial effects, such as increased HP. 
Some materia have a parameter value, such as magic plus three attached to them, so keep in mind to keep materia up with the highest value. Some materia become more effective or raise certain status parameters when they level up, levels indicated by the number of stars. If you feel an enemy is too strong, <laughs> try reviewing your equipped materia and see if there's any way you can gain more advantage. Materia's power can be judged by values such as strength 20, seen at the bottom of the icon. I'm assuming that means strength. Might, might mean attack or something, I don't know. Or maybe it just straight up means, like, this is its value. Uh, we have everything we possibly can equipped at the point. So, hey, thank you for feeding Bo, dude. He gets hungry. A lot. <laughs> After entering Wu we go straight to work. If you have any... He's been uh, fed a lot, bred a lot, but you know what he hasn't had? A battle. Nobody wants to be the one to to force him into a battle. As soon as you're ready, proceed to Wu Tai. I really like Genesis as a character too. Um I wish that he was in Final Fantasy VII. I wonder if they'll bring him up in the remake at all. So, did you read it? Well, you'll learn more about Genesis as the game goes on, of course, but yeah. Thoughts? I mean, oh shit! You get it all in one read. Hey, we won! We kicked the ass of some other dragon. I didn't know how that worked, man. I guess it's just, uh, is it random? It probably goes off like level or something, maybe? Cool. I mean, <laughs> did that level us up or something? I don't, I don't actually know what the benefit of battling is. Uh, but nice. All right, <laughs> kicking some dragon ass. That is so not true. Well, it's there if you want to review. <laughs> Square's wild. They got names like Cloud, Genesis, Sephiroth, and then they just got Zack. Our boy Zack, dude. <laughs> oh, the Don't forget you were using Hunsel. during training has been taken back. <laughs> oh Powerful god. Materia have to be earned. Now, let's talk about missions. The various services Shinra provides for civilians, those are what we call missions. To take on missions, you first have to register your information on the mission board. Pressing A in front of the mission board will allow you to accept missions. Areas that can be checked by using A will be Once indicated by a marker. You can look up mission information on your handset. I'll show you how to register on the board. Come on. Ah, uh, Tutorial City. That's awesome, dude. Never knew what a mission was before. I know. I know. That's like uh, having the tutorial for how to read mail inside the mail menu. I t thank God that it was there. Otherwise, how would I have known how to read mail? <laughs> There's a compass at the top of the field screen that points toward the current destination. Check it often to guide Zach toward his goal. You can open the map with X to check your current objective and destination. Okay. Uh, what's the select button do? Hopefully the select button doesn't do anything too important. Otherwise, I'm going to have to like dig out some alcohol and dump it in my <laughs> controller. <laughs> There's little time. Please get ready to go at once. Some of the voice actors they got for this uh, remake here are a little sketch, dude. Here. This is where you register your information. I think, like, the main cast of Final Fantasy VII Remake I thought was really good. You know, your Barrett, Tifa, Yuffie, uh, Cloud, of course, Sephiroth. Uh, but, like, Zack sounds a little bit weird to me. And that dude that we were just talking to, I don't know how I feel about that. Angeal's pretty good. I like Angeal's voice actor in this game. Mission registration accepted. You should try a mission. The funniest part about all of this is I've been in Soldier for God knows how long, right? That's the canon here. And we are now being recommended to become a first class soldier. The highest tier of soldier, right? Like top military rank here, basically. And we gotta have some some low level dude over here explaining to us how to <laughs> how to oh, fucking do yeah. missions and shit. Like, the save shouldn't we know how to do that by now? If you're not completely sure about something, read the tutorial mail that I sent you. Your progress can be saved at save points. Uh, also restores all your shit. Also, registering to take on missions can only be done at save points. Okay. Noise, noise, noise. Save point. Save it up. You can register to go on missions by going to a save point and selecting missions from the main menu. When you clear a mission, you will receive rewards such as special material and accessories, and new missions may become available. 
You can take on available missions at any time, so you should take them on when you feel you are underleveled or wish to improve your battle skills. Select Y to save point to register for a mission directly. Okay. Uh, cool. Missions. We only have one. Mission one, Shinra Electric Power Company. Shinra's basic training. This is a simulated battle against infantrymen. The difficulty level is set low, so it should be posed no problem for a soldier operative. Relax and enjoy the training. Do I have to, though? <laughs> I guess. Uh, why to show completion bonuses? Are these, like, the chance of getting each one of these things? What is that hike? He, he, hike, he, <laughs> soul? What the hell is that? Fat chocobo feather? Goblin punch? Give me that goblin punch, daddy. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, sure, whatever. Let's accept the mission. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Limit gauge has five stages, and the higher the stage, the higher the probability for a limit verge to occur. The gauge status changes according to various factors, such as entering limit break or receiving certain attacks. Heavenly, sky high, high, normal, low. Abilities such as assault twister become more effective if they are used after attack. The more successive attacks, successive attacks come before the stronger it becomes. Okay. Oh wait, shit, that was the wrong button. Get fucked. How many of these guys do we have to murder? No MP, let's go. Oh shit, that was cure. <laughs> My buttons changed, I didn't realize I was popping cure 20 times right there. Elixir X1, let's go, dude. Elixirs are nice, I guess. I'd rather get some nice materia nice or work. a new ability or something. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. My bad. <laughs> You're the man. I can't wait to see how you do in Wu Tai. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I don't like the way he said that. I can't wait to see how you do in Wu Tai. <laughs> uh, are you trying to insinuate something, sir? What exactly is happening in Wutai? In these pods, you'll find items that you can use in battle. Compliments of the company. So they're provisions for soldier members. Make sure they don't go to waste. Check the pods before every mission. Ah, I wonder what's in there today. We got potions. Nope, bronze bangle. Let's go. All right. Looks like you're all ready to head out. Lastly, let me tell you about mail. Oh my god, I'm so tired of the mail. <laughs> Just now, I sent mail to your handset. Yes. You can also get messages I know how email works. <laughs> you don't have to explain it to me. <laughs> you should check it regularly. Who knows? Maybe you'll even get mail from new friends you make. Yes. But don't just read mail that you get from girls, okay? <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> this guy pissing well, me off. I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. You're with Angeal, right? Good luck. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks baby. Thanks for all the help. Zack can equip up to six material and four accessories. The number will gradually increase towards the limit as you advance the story or clear missions. You can set or change equipment by going to the equipment menu from the main menu. Battle commands will be set according to where you equip your materials, so think carefully about what would be the most intuitive for you. Okay. Items can be purchased from the shop. Cool. And we got mail. What do you want? Congrats on your first mail. Now that you've got your mail account ready, allow me your loyal and well-connected pal to give you lots of insider info. Why? Because I'm such a nice guy, and I know what you and your one-track mind don't know what I know. And I know you and your one-track don't know what I know. Okay. Midgar is a <laughs> Midgar is a city floating 300 meters in the air, linked to the ground by train and highway transit. We utilize a total of eight Maka reactors, sequentially numbered, starting with the northern reactor, to supply electricity to the city. Construction continues smoothly. Shinra Company headquarters in Sector 4 are the last on the schedule to be completed. The headquarters interior is Sector 0 is complete and already in operation. The exterior uh, exterior is slated for completion in two years, while the surrounding city will be finished in seven years. Reeve, Director of City Planning. Cool. Uh, okay, so equipment. Accessories. Might as well equip the bronze bangle. There's no reason not to. 
So what do we want our heal button to be? Okay. So X and Y. B is cure. Uh, that's fine. The problem is just remembering that. <laughs> I just have to try to remember. B is cure. X and Y are, are the other things. <laughs> and then A is physical attack. I wonder if it's possible to still do it the old way. Like where you just flip through stuff. Down to restore HP to full. Oh! It's like an auto potion user thing. That's cool, I guess. There's little time. Uh, why mission? Uh, do I have to go here and register again first? Nope. Uh, help. <laughs> Angio, there we go. Are you ready? Doesn't seem to be anything else I can do here besides maybe grind that one single mission over and over again. So yeah, let's go. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir. By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, oh, good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Rude, bro. Rude, did you see the new Dragon Age trailer for Dreadwolf? Good question. I haven't watched it myself yet, but I do plan on it sooner or later. Fort Tamblin is straight ahead. Let's go. B unit is already standing by. You two there! Hold it! Okay then. Leave this to me. Activating combat mode. Yeah, so I hope you like this right here. <laughs> this is the majority of the game works exactly like this. So it's a it's a you know an action RPG, okay, but like every time you run into people you get pulled out of just running around. It's it's a weird mix. I, mean, I don't know if it was a limitation watching, of the PSP right? or why they so did it this way exactly, but it's okay. Zach. Heard of dumb apples? No, what's that? Incredible. You really don't know. Well, so much for you making first. <laughs> Whoa, wait. What's this dumb apple? I think he might be fucking with you, dude. I actually don't remember if he's being for real, like if that's a thing or not. <laughs> I remember the the biggest story beats of the game, but that's about it. Man, the game does look a lot prettier. I just wish they would have done a better job with the cutscenes and some of the voice acting, like, because like this part of the game actually looks really good, man. For what I assume is a relatively low budget cash grab of a game. <laughs> Also, I really don't trust this. Zach is cool and all, but I have a bad feeling about this. And I'm looking up now. Oh, you're looking up the trailer now. Okay. Uh, you don't need to worry about Zach. This game is tragic, but Zach's, Zach's fine. You can flee from a battle by running toward the border of the battle area for a given time. You cannot flee from boss fights. Gotcha. Oh, God damn it, man. I'm going to keep pressing... Um... L2 for for like for the for the quick menu. I don't know why, but for some reason L2 to me feels like the quick menu button. Ooh, okay. R2 runs. Liar? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Damn it, I'm just gonna have to change that in the menu or something, dude. I'm gonna keep messing that up. I do like the quick heal option thing that they got going on there. I don't know how often I'll really use it, but. So, Angel, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? 
So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? And Geo kills yeah, me, man. Well, I love him so much. I'm going to turn up the music just a tiny bit. Just because it's so fucking good, I want to hear more of it. I'm going to leave everything else the way, though. I think it's pretty good. Y'all would just have to let me know if it's uh, too loud, too quiet, anything like that. But I think it's pretty decent. I have new mail! I can change missions from here? No? Okay, whatever. It's not soldier. Inbox, you dumbass. Soldier responsibilities. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. As you all well know, a great number of our comrades have left the company. There is now some concern within the company whether this will lead to a decline in soldiers' combat abilities. However, we can also take this pressure as a chance to prove how indispensable we are to the company by proving our strength as a small but elite group. I hope you take advantage of this mission where we will be bringing an end to the war with Wutai to do your best and prove yourselves. Let's go, dude. Nothing new from that, but some new graphics. So wait, what is what is this new Dragon Age game you guys are talking about? Is it just like Dragon Age 4 or 5 or whatever, but not called Dragon Age? Insert number here? The fourth installment? Yeah, okay. I thought so, but I wasn't positive. I don't follow Dragon Age that closely, though I do want to play more of it one of the days. The one of these days. Set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and... Uh-huh. And? And, and, and? Indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Uh... Come on, B-Unit. Anybody recognize the sword yet? You know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's our cue. Begin mission. <laughs> same dude, same. <laughs> Heightened emotions have affected the DMW, Angeal plus 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 plus. Okay. As you progress through the story, Zach's emotions toward characters he meets are sometimes heightened, and this turn this in turn affects the DMW. When Zack's emotions are heightened, the relevant character's image reels have a greater chance of entering Limit Verge. It's a neat mechanic, the whole random wheel in the top corner, man, but it's just, like, irritating if you're trying to actually 100% the game. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Attack targets are chosen automatically, but the player can also manually switch. I mean, you kind of told us all this already. I don't remember what Endure actually does for us. I need to get better at uh, dodging and blocking. I was never very good at that on the PSP game for this. But I don't think I played the game in hard mode back then either. So playing it in hard mode now, I'm probably going to need to, you know, be a little more careful about that sort of stuff. Later. Bitch. Let's go, dude. 
Ah. No AP cost. Uh, assault twist for days. Let's go. Okay, at least hit somebody with it. <laughs> Having no AP cost doesn't really do much if you miss everyone. No MP cost. Okay. No, not Blizzard. Fire. Humans are usually weak to fire. And uh, throw a heal up real quick. One more fire. There we go. Oh, no AP? Dope. Get wrecked. And y'all are dead. GG. At least they're giving us something. They need to hurry up. It's been almost as long yeah. as Elder Scrolls 6. That's saying something, man. <laughs> almost as long as uh, Elder Scrolls 6. That's pretty bad. And the next year, early 2024. I mean, Elder Scrolls 6 is probably going to be, what, 2028? <laughs> Give or take a couple years. <laughs> so... <laughs> At least you'll get a uh, Dragon Age before we get Outer Scroll Six. Oh damn! Okay, I need to get used to the buttons. I was using A to try to attack there. A is dodge, X is attack. L two is. Or something. <laughs> Piece of cake. Could have done it blindfolded. Stay alert. I've heard the Wu Tai keep a monster around for anti-soldier purposes. It should be somewhere in the fort. So if I can take it out, will I make first? Depends on the quality of work. Your main task is diversion. Run amok and gather attention. Do well, and you'll gain favor with Director Lazard. That'll be a cakewalk. Just watch. Enter Fort Tamlin and defeat as many Wutai troops as possible. The more enemies you defeat, the better your evaluation as soldier will be. Wutai troops are lurking within various places, such as rotating walls and fortress towers. Make sure that you do a thorough search. Uh, you can dash to move quicker. Do we have a time limit? I don't think we have a time limit. What was the run button again? R2. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Magic attacks are effective against enemies with elemental weaknesses. Weaknesses can be identified with an element icon that appears near an enemy's name. Nice. So I'm assuming that means y'all are weak to Blizzard? Yeah. Get wrecked, Foullander. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look like there's a time limit or anything. We can take as long as we want to just find them all. Can we break stuff on the field map? No. I mean, I don't think we could on the original either. I just didn't know if maybe they changed something. Doesn't seem like it. There he is. Get him. I wouldn't do that if I were y'all. And he's dead. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Bring it on. I don't know why they decided to, like, lock you in a little area for combat and not just have it be a traditional kind of... Um, holy shit, we took a lot of damage. A traditional kind of ARPG, action RPG. I'm sure they had the reasons, like, uh, probably, if I had to guess, like, performance issues on the original PSP. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything we can interact with. They mentioned there being, like, all the rotating walls and things, so, oh, like that. <laughs> so I seen if, like, maybe there was a secret area we could get to, because that wall did look suspicious, I gotta say. God damn it. I'm trying not to heal. I'm trying to wait for some, like, free magic or something before I heal. But, oh well. Ooh, 
Ooh. Ah, now I can activate it. Come and face us, soldier! If you dare! Huh? Where did he go? <laughs> Some Scooby Doo shit, dude. Little pest. Ugh, treachery! Activating combat mode. Get wrecked. Ow. This is Lazard. Enemies appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not fall easily. Yeah, just now, I was checking out a revolving wall and was jumped. Other walls may be trapped too. Stay alert. Remnant forces can be seen near the revolving walls. Okay. So, double check revolving walls. But we didn't actually get a pass through the revolving wall, right? No. Wait a second. Why is... Hold on. That that thing that we were looking at here in the beginning, the, the weird little tower-looking thingy, is highlighted. This right here. Why is it highlighted? Oh, here we go. I missed a thing. To think one man did this much damage to us. I can no longer just sit back and watch. Huh. Halt! You'll pay for what you did. Your life will come to an end here. Good luck. No match for three Wu Tai sergeants. Let's take him out. We'll show you the power of Wu Tai. Activating combat. Ow. Excuse me, I was trying to heal my guy. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, this is actually bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let me break. <laughs> Give it to us, please. Oh, shit. I got it. Who needs swords when you got fists of steel, man? Let's go. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. When Zack's experience points reach a certain value, the DMW will sometimes stop at 777, in which case Zack will level up and his status parameters will be strengthened. It is not possible to check actual experience points. Ah, oh, man, did we just get 666 too? All crits all day? Only crits, Enemy you could say? Stationed inside the two fortress towers. I see. You don't want them tracking your position. Take out the other tower. Remnant force is spotted at the tower? Not this tower, I'm assuming, because we already took out that one. And I'm pretty sure that was the only tower we've passed so far. Too bad I can't pass through those two-way wall thingies that would be handy uh can we see our status we can go ahead and heal use potion times three <laughs> we need to be more careful Activating combat of attacks mode. or getting attacked rather we still want to get into all the combat because we want to get the highest rank here but we Definitely need to take less damage. Okay. Attack him. Attack him. Okay, we got the sergeant. Now, I'm not trying to escape. I'm trying to cure. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. I think this is the right way. Hi doggies. Activating combat mode. Do you like blizzards? Oh, yeah. Too easy. Uh, suspicious door number one. Okay. Mm Apparently we can't do anything with it. Not yet. Maybe from the other side. Suspicious wall number two. Nope. Okay. We'll just ignore those for now. There he is. Get him. Combat 
mode. Ow. That fire hurt my guy. No AP cost. Perfect. Ow, dude. God, we suck. Nice. Okay, uh... Activating combat mode. Shit. <laughs> we were gonna check out the tower, but I wanted to get the box. They got me with the treasure, man. How do we block again? Okay. Give me treasure or give me death? I think that's what Shakespeare said. Uh, Sure, go ahead and do this. Rude. How are you just going to shoot at a guy like that? Activating combat mode. Ow. I don't think that heal even did anything. And now the tower. Oh, there was another box. We should have got the box. He's right there under the tower. I see him. 38th Tamblin unit. Charge! You're not doing a very good watching out, dude, if you didn't see me until I literally got underneath the tower. Damn it, I'm stuck on the wall. Ooh, the door activated. I think that means I won't die. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what indoor is. Maybe I just take less damage? Less damage is seeming likely. We are very low on potions, though. Alright, restore. Use potion times three. So we are out of potions. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We got a high potion now. <laughs> That's all we need. We make our stand here. Ready, aim, fire. Give it up. More troops are en route. It's over. Uh, I'll find a different route. Because there's probably, yeah, like right here, a two-way door, right? Huh? I hear a voice. For the glory of the moon we hold the line here at all costs. Sure. Fort Tamblin will not fall to a lowly group of thugs like Soldier. The enemy could be lurking anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Soldier is a formidable foe. <laughs> Still, to protect our homeland, we must stand against our enemies, no matter what. Weren't you just calling us a lowly group of soldiers, like a lives. moment ago? In Wu Tai, retreat is never an option. What? Retreat! Against that odds, retreat is the best strategy. Dude didn't even want to hang around and find out. Uh, we're still getting a pop up here. Hey, doggies! Activating combat mode. Not enough MP. Oh yeah, no, I clicked the wrong button. Ow, dude, fire hurts. Conflict resolved. Noise, noise. Oh yeah. Can I get some more potions, maybe, game? And gotta go the long way around. <sighs> Only one combat left, though. Which means I don't think we've missed anything. Cause there's gotta be one, like, right here before the doors, right? Yeah, boy. You know it'd be really handy if we got one of the wheels that refilled our MP and shit. That'd be super handy. 
I mean, we have, like, ether and stuff. We can just use it, too, but I'm one of those RPG players that hates using items. <laughs> I save items until absolutely critical and then just never end up using them. Nicely done. We have successfully occupied the fort. I just needed you to keep their attention, but... <laughs> Impressive. You did well. Keep pressing forward. Assault on Fort Tambling complete. Uh, chest. Ether, very nice. And I'm assuming boss fight? Maybe that monster designed to defeat soldier? Ah, that must be the central area. Do we have a save point or anything around here? No. Okay, nothing too suspicious on the map. Get wrecked. Activating combat mode. I hope you guys like that little voice saying activating combat mode. You're gonna hear it a lot. <laughs> Just fair warning, my guys. <laughs> And that one. <laughs> it repeats a lot. So if we hit restore HP to full wood, like automatically use. Okay, so it only used the potion, not the high potion. Interesting. Invincible, let's freaking go, dude. Of course, I'd get that, like, here, where it's not that dangerous. Oh yeah. Instead of getting it when, I don't know, Activating we're fighting a boss. Ow. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh... When Zack's HP reaches zero during a battle, game over screen is displayed, but you can retry starting from that battle. Retry from starting point of battle. Retry the battle starting from the beginning of the encounter. Retry from last save. Save. Eh. Resume play from the last time and place you saved the game. Return to title screen. Returns to title screen. Uh, starting point of battle. We can just try again. We're fine. We don't need to change anything. Activating combat mode. I wonder if this game has one of those achievements where it's like, don't die for the entire game. Damn it. Son of a... Okay. <laughs> I knew the fire was coming. I tried to dodge. I dodged too early. We're trash. Try again. Activating combat mode. Did I know I'm the bestest boyfriend ever? Why? I feel like this is a trick. Did I? Okay. There it goes. The high potion didn't want to trigger there for a second. Okay, so what I'm learning is we need to buy a shit ton of potions so we can use that auto heal thing. <laughs> because you want me to clean the, the dishwasher and sink drain. That's why I'm the best boyfriend ever. Well, <laughs> all right, love. I mean, I'll do it, but like, I think there should be other reasons I'm the best boyfriend, not just because I'll clean the gross stuff you don't want to clean. Can we use magic outside of battle in this game? I guess not, huh? Hmm. I mean, we don't have enough MP, so that might be the actual reason why. Can we use regular items? Uh, I'm assuming yes, but I don't want to use that right now. New mail from Shinra News. What kind of news do you got for us, Shinra? Situation with Wutai. We have received reports from the security and soldier departments on the state of war with Wutai. With, with the... Uh, with the state on the state of war with Wu Tai, I can't read English. We have been in negotiations with new. Mm, deep breaths, rest my eyes for a second. Look, I'm tired. That's fine. I can read. I've been reading English for 29 years now. Probably not, but you know, close enough. Try again. 
We have been in negotiations with Wutai for years in order to peacefully resolve the long dispute regarding Mako extraction in the region. However, Wutai's steadfast refusal has resulted in aggravated tensions. In order to break through this impasse, we have decided to resume military action. A special attack force of the smallest size has been mobilized to keep the scale of operations to a minimum. Let's go. I did it. Can you though? Yes. Yes, I can. Because I want to give you an early present tonight. You get a present every night. It's your, your advent calendar that I bought you. You get a little miniature present every night from now until Christmas. Let's go. Uh, save. <laughs> what? That's not good enough for you? I have no idea when these missions, like, pop back up. Uh, interact? Yeah, let's interact with it. We saved. What's this? That is Wu Tai's guardian deity, the Great Leviathan. We are the Wu Tai Army's elite, the Crescent. We serve Leviathan and smite Wu Tai's enemies. Soldier of Shinra, a query. Is the goal of this invasion to spread your Mako reactors? Yes. A reactor here would allow people to live better lives. And that includes you. This better life that you speak of comes at the grave cost of losing our homeland. Pain and despair. That's what you bring. <sighs> One more question. You have power, so I must ask, why do you use it to cause evil? Is it wrong to spread happiness through Mako energy? Is that what you consider evil? I thought we could reason with each other as warriors. But sadly, I was mistaken. Then let us settle things as warriors. Come for! Activating combat mode. I like that even though you're like... Oh god, these guys do damage. Uh, that even though you like are working for the bad guys here, for, for Shinra, like they don't... They don't hide the fact that, you know, Shinra is still the bad guys. So is this organization, Zach, works for really bad? Yes. <laughs> they are the, the, the main group that you're trying to take down in Final Fantasy VII. Ow. Ow. Let's go, dude. Limit break. Prove your honor Sorry, Wutai. I, yeah, honestly, like, Wutai got the shitty end of the stick, man. And the cutscenes are so much louder than the actual game is. I think I might need to turn the game down a little bit more. Not in the mood. As long as we draw breath, we will oppose Shinra. Now, finish it. Oh, come on. See, but at the same time, they set up Zack as still being a good guy, you know? Like, unwilling to kill people just for the sake of killing them. Even if they are, quote unquote, the enemy. Training when you can. Two, protect Wu Tai at all costs. Three, ugly Shinra soldier dudes must be punished. Who are you? I'm Wu Tai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. A little kid? This area is not safe for you. Go on home now. You're the uh. one going home. If you want to go any further, you're going to have to go through me. Oh, man. Does that answer your question? What am I supposed to do here? Yes, you hear kids. <laughs> Take that, bad guy. <sighs> Shishu ha! Ah! No! You got me! 
Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! That'll teach you to mess with me. Once again, I saved Wu Tai. <laughs> <laughs> that is so boy. rude, dude. She's just a little That's girl. A lot of energy. <laughs> now, back to work. So why is Zach working for this company then? Uh, propaganda. You know, I mean, he believes what he's doing is right. Trying to spread Mako energy to to help people live better lives through the basically by giving them electricity, right? But these people don't want it. He can't understand why because propaganda um all he can see is the fact that you know they're trying to kill them so he's fighting back and trying to help them but it's not at all <laughs> really it all comes down to propaganda shinra is basically like the government of insert country name here you know when you grow up in that country he is pretty stupid so i can believe that wow wow Rude. <laughs> no, Zach can be a little dumb sometimes. <laughs> you must be the anti soldier monsters. Activating combat mode. Some enemies use special abilities in battle. When these abilities are activated, the enemy will enter a casting phase and an ability gauge will be displayed. You can lower the gauge by attacking the enemy, which in turn decreases the ability's impact. Furthermore, if you can reduce the gauge to zero within the allotted time, you can cancel the ability entirely. Ah! <laughs> we didn't cancel it. Okay, 89's not too bad. Ow. That actually hurt more. Okay, they don't seem to have any weaknesses. Limit break. I mean, we probably could have kept that limit break to a better time, honestly. Also, I forgot to turn down the volume. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think it'll let us do it in the middle of a battle either. Yeah, no. Wait, what's that? Disable vibration? No. How, dude? Rude. Okay, run away. Gucci. Uh, run away. Oh, boy. We got this. Another limit break. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. We were doing so good at dodging there for a moment. Nice. Get wrecked, dude. Better run for it. Finish him off. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Sorry to say, Wutai, your anti-soldier monsters kind of suck ass, man. Ow. <laughs> I suppose you're susceptible to magic? Uh, only kind of. I mean, it does more damage than... Than my physical attacks, but my physical attacks also trigger a lot faster. Oh, no AP, let's go. GG. Wait, Blizzard Blade? Soldier Second Class Zack. Victorious again. Good work. Now, get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard, are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. <sighs> uh, 
no you thought. <laughs> Zach, honey, that's enough. <laughs> Owie. Not good. You're fine. Get up. Huh? Hey, he used the blade. That's one more you owe me. Now it's you gonna get rusty. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. Just a little, though. But just a little. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Not actually chasing it, but Gary is playing with the laser light a little bit. He lays down, stretches his arms out. That's because he's lazy. <laughs> Gary is a lazy cat. I must apologize. Being on site is taxing. You didn't have to come personally. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier Second Class Zack. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... You are a force of nature. You somehow defeated an entire enemy force by yourself. I was shocked as well. You've grown strong. Your bravery during the Wu-Tai War will be remembered for generations. It seems your dream of becoming a hero has already come true. Director Lazard, that's a bit much. Zack here still has a lot to accomplish. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Zack, keep up the good work. Yeah, God forbid. Don't praise him too much, my guy. Zack, let's go. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth? The hero? Wow, I'm gonna meet a hero. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW Activity Sephiroth up. Mode. Let's go. Uh, no, please. We know Likey Blizzard. Jeez, dude, these guys are quick. Hawk Slash, get wrecked. Concentrate. That dude's dead. <laughs> that dude's super dead. Ooh, level up cure. Very nice. Zach, come on. Did you guys not see the three dudes I just got attacked by? Those dudes? Zach. Take the director to safety. Contact Sephiroth. Zack can handle it. Now go. Follow me, director. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist and Geo. Yeah, I'm on it. All right, uh, options, sound, one more. Hopefully that's good. 
I don't know if that's actually affecting the volume during the cutscenes or not, but I hope it is. Let's throw down a quick save, of course. And... Not the mission menu. Shops. We need to buy some potions, man. How much money do we have? We have 4,649. Let's buy, like... Like, 20 potions. Just to make sure we have some. We don't want to get caught out again without any... Without any potions. <laughs> that could be bad. Am I missing any boxes? No. Okay. Shh, I'm coming. Angeo! Angeo! What? These guys aren't Muay troops. Uh. That's bright. Oh man, that is that is bright. A summon? Who called it out? Activating combat mode. That's just a little effort. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> oh god. He's too fast, man. Null physical? Okay. Just get in close and Oh shit, now he's using magic! Stop using magic! You were using physical just a moment ago. You're in for it now. I like when he was using physical. <laughs> I don't know, like, if the AI is smart enough to be like, yo, he's gnawing all physical damage, so we're just gonna use magic now, or if that was just happenstance, but bad timing. Okay, our gnaw physical is over. Damn it. Uh, this might hurt a little bit. I can't help but wonder if they just took, like, the original cutscenes and upscaled them. We're dead, aren't we? Yep, that's GG. Holy shit. 423 damage on that. Whoo, boy. Uh, no, just try again. We don't have any equipment to change, so. We just gotta do better. Also, lock on. That would be very handy. No MP cost. Nice. Spam Blizzard. And run. And run. Okay. Uh, heal. Slash level one. Honestly, I wonder if that Octa Slash will work well whenever his ability thing is coming up. How, dude? Like, will this? I wonder if this will lower it for each hit we do, or like a chunk of it. I, I don't know. I'm hoping that gets rid of some of the Hellfire. Uh, not much. Heal. I don't think we got the heal off in time. But if it does the same amount of damage as last time, we should be okay, at least, yeah. We're alive. It hurt, but we're alive. Okay, we need to drop another heal quick. Stop moving so much, you dick. How am I supposed to... <laughs> hit you with blizzard if you keep moving <laughs> ow okay get a heal get a heal oh god oh god oh god okay we're fine everything is fine <laughs> no it's not I lied oh shit we're in death range if he hits a uh, hellfire Come on, come on, come on. Give us something good. Octa Slash level four. Let's go. Uh, I need to heal. Level four. It didn't seem to take down the meter very much last time, but it took it down some. Dude, that did it. Oh, dude, that was really good. Okay. 
so much better than last time. Turns out that that level really fucking matters on the uh, on the limit breaks. Ow. Just hit him, please. Thank you. Stun lock him, maybe? Nice. He's done. Get wrecked, my guy. Oh, shit. We did actually get some new stuff, didn't we? I forgot to check. Because we got, like, the some sort of sword and flame thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. But we got some stuff. Come to steal my thunder, Sephiroth. I had him, my guy. I didn't need you to come in here and save me. I did all the work. All you did was give him a little tiny stabby stab. Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. <laughs> so he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way. I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he never do that. And Jill wouldn't betray us. Never! Mm-mm-mm. Huh. <sighs> Save game? Yes, please, dude. What kind of monster doesn't save the game when the game asks? <laughs> Back What's to doing our squats. Angeal? How long is he gonna slack off like this? It's already been a month. Sephiroth's no help either. Lumping Angeal together with Genesis. Genesis is a deserter who took a bunch of seconds and thirds along with him. He used copies of himself to attack us. Angeal wouldn't condone something like that. His soldier honor means way too much to him. <sighs> Everything's so messed up now. Angeal, just come back to us. So he said it's been a month since Angeal's been gone. I like to think he's just been doing squats the entire time. <laughs> like, non-stop, man. Somebody brings him food in a bucket and he just never leaves. <laughs> he just stands there doing squats. That would be me. Who is this? Director Lazard wants to see you. Go to the briefing room. Hey, wait! Who was that? Any word on Angeal? He hasn't contacted his family either. <sighs> so what's this about? A new assignment. I want you to go to the hometown of our missing soldier first class, Genesis. Huh? According to the parents, They've had no contact with Genesis whatsoever. But they can't be trusted. Why? They're his family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I agree. <laughs> Zach is a little bit dumb. Contact. Just a little I bit. I want you to go and investigate. He will go with you. Song of the Turks. This job is looking really gloomy. Hmm. Let me know when you're ready to go. Song has been added to the DMW. A new limit break has been unlocked. Airstrike. When Zack's emotions are heightened and the bond between him and one of several characters grows stronger, that character's image will be added to the DMW. The DMW is connected to Zack's memories, and when a new image is added, certain memories may play as images from Zack's heart. Man, this game has a lot to do with, like, oh, Zack's memories and things. Me. That's weird, huh? Uh, hello? Oh, hey! It's 
Consul, did you read my mail? Not yet. I'll read it later. I'm in a meeting in the briefing room right now. Gotcha. Hey, can I talk to you after that? I'm kind of busy, but if you can keep it short... Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll be outside the briefing room. Near acquire summon materia, the DMW will now sometimes enter summon mode, where all the real images change the summons. Excuse me. When all three reels match, you can call forth powerful summons like Ifrit, so register for missions when you can acquire some summon material. No oh, shit, all kinds of new stuff, huh? Let's read our mail! The most exciting part of the game. Kunzel, what I think about Angeal. Seems every soldier first class has a quirk or three, but I think Angeal has a lot of common sense and is a trustworthy fellow. Let's face it, Genesis never found group activities appealing, so Angeal is, in fact, the spiritual leader of Soldier. I've got a lot of respect for him, too, and I envy you for getting to work with him so often. Said. Angeal is pretty fucking cool, dude. Before you go out on a mission, you should always remember to check the supply pod. You know because we're not notified when it's been restocked. Which is kind of fucking dumb. That it's because of the company's cost-cutting measures. That sounds about right. Thunder times one? Okay. Uh, equipment. We got some new stuff, did we not? We fire armlet. That would have been nice against, uh, <laughs> against good old Ifrit there. Now that's some shit you can believe, yeah. Exactly. Uh, HP plus 10 versus having fire damage. Uh, I don't know what we're coming up against, but having fire damage sounds pretty nice. We have another assault twister. We got an HP up and we got thunder. Uh, honestly, I... Hmm, enables ice-based elemental attacks. I wish we could equip more than... <laughs> more than four... Can we switch between... Silence! What's up, my guy? Thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. I appreciate you. You are amazing. Um, Can we switch between these sets, like, on a whim? I always want B to be Cure. Or Cure, or, like, Cura, Curaga, whatever, you know? Uh, but let's try setting this to, like, Blizzard Blade. Um, and then Blizzard and, I don't know, Thunder. And then we'll have, like, set 5 here be all about that HP, though. This is still going to be Cure. And the other two will be Physical Attacks. I feel like I use Assault Twister more, so let's put Assault Twister there. That there. And then, oh, we have these two. Okay, so then Earrings here. And then we'll do the Fire Armlet and Earrings, like the other one. Ah, oh, cool. We can do it automatically. I wonder what the auto one will do. Best physical offense. Best magic offense. Best defense. Okay, so the game really wants me to take <laughs> HP up. Um, yeah, I'm assuming we can't, like, change these on a whim, though. The equipment. I'm, we probably gotta come in here and switch our set like that. I don't know. New missions available? Uh, I mean, this is how we unlock, like, new cool stuff, so we probably should. You can obtain items according to your mission completion progress. Oh, okay. So we're at 0% right now, so as we go down, like, the M1 path, we unlock more of that stuff. Completion progress. Oh, no, this is total mission completion progress. I see, I see. It's been a while since I played. I'm forgetting these things. M4-1, Wutai units found. We have spotted a detached Wutai army unit on the outskirts of Wutai. We want to prevent any further incidents from them in an already chaotic political environment. Vanquish them before they make a move. Go on mission. Yes. You should do all the side missions forever, man. That's how, that's how JRPGs work. 
During missions, like normal field situations, you can move around the map and engage in battle. The game is over when you are incapacitated, but you are given the option to start the battle over after reviewing your equipment. Clearing the mission. You can clear a mission by defeating the boss indicated on the map. Once a mission is cleared, you will return to the original save point. Quitting a mission. You can quit a mission without clearing it by leaving the mission area or by going to missions from the main menu and selecting abort mission. Activating nice. Okay. <laughs> we didn't make it very far. <laughs> So yeah, so this is just like, this is legit just a way to grind, basically, right? Like, it's a bunch of side stuff. You're not required to do most of them. Um, but by doing so, you get the chance to level up your stuff, get new equipment, find, you know, stuff out in the wild, collect gill, all that sort of shit. So like, you probably should do them. But it's not necessary to. I guess if you're good enough at the game, you could probably just ignore them entirely. So is it just me or do these Foundlanders suddenly have a lot more HP than they did before? Okay, I want to kill all of you but one. Okay. Because can we... No, okay. It doesn't look like we can change mid-battle the stuff that we have set up in any way. Lame. Okay, I didn't think we could, but I just wanted to check to be sure. It'd be cool if we could, like, change our, our, our equipment mid-battle. But it'd probably be pretty OP, too. New mission has been added. M41-2. Anti-soldier monsters. A detached Wutai force has trained monsters to specifically fight soldier operatives. Defeat the anti-soldier creatures and eliminate the remnants. Let's go. Bulletproof vest. I'll take it. I like bulletproof vests. They block bullets. Okay, well, there's only one tiny area we can actually go in. Uh, Collect box first, because once we defeat the boss, we're automatically kicked out. Potion obtained. Actually, before we go up to you too much, didn't we just unlock something? Or not? Maybe it was a new materia? Or no, I was just looking at materia. I don't know, whatever. It was probably just a regular item and I'm an idiot, that's all. Uh, not you again. Oh shit! Oh god damn it. <laughs> That was my bad. I started holding the L2 button <laughs> instead of L1. <laughs> well, we'll take that hit. That's fair. No magic? Do these guys even use magic attacks? Off to slash level two. Let's go, dude. That's gonna hurt. That should do some damage. Ow. Too bad they're not weak to any magic. Does fire do? 204. Oh, god damn it. Nice. Dude, did we have all crits or something there? What was going on with that? That was freaking sick, though. Whatever the hell was going on. Yeah, I don't know why our hits are, like, taking down this bar so quick. Obviously not quick enough, but I'm here for it, man. Let's go. Oh, that was nothing. 83? I'm pretty sure your regular attacks do more damage than that. Airstrike. We'll watch this one. We haven't seen the airstrike yet. No, not if I can help it. Just call in the literal military to <laughs> take some pot shots and fire a missile or two. That's all, you know. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> so three sixty-two on that. How much is fire doing? Two twenty-one. We're just gonna do this the easy way. Spamming magic. You're dead. Oh, yes. Bulletproof vest X1. Mission accomplished, man. 
time is it? It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Holy shit, dude. It's getting late. We're going to do a handful more missions. I don't think we're going to continue the story tonight, though. Just because I don't think we have time, to be honest, to complete the next story section. Pursue the deserters. Fort Tamlin has fallen, but many of their fighters have escaped. They refuse to disarm in an attempt to maintain the resistance. Allowing this to continue would only sow chaos. A swift elimination is in order. Oh, nice. It tells us how many of the uh, chests we have are having collected in the area, too. Handy. Okay. So there's only one way we can actually go. There's the chest. Activating combat mode. And there's the Wutai. Damn, dude. Holy hell, these guys are hurt. I mean, I, I saw that the star level went up. It's level two instead of level one. But I admit, I didn't think they were going to start doing like three times the damage. <laughs> these dudes are doing more damage than the freaking boss dude we just fought. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. We're going to try that again, but uh, maybe we need to level up a little bit before we can take on level two missions. Activating combat mode. Damn, dude. Okay, that sergeant really outputs the damage. Oh my god, 333. Thank god for cures, man. Nice miss, me. No MP cost. Uh, that's a great time to throw down a heal. And we have that level 2 blizzard. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Did nothing for us. I guess we're doing like crits because we're hitting them in the back or something. Maybe there's a flanking bonus. I don't remember all the ins and outs of the game at all. Ow, man. We're going to run out of MP before this uh, mission's over. Nice, okay. Well, we beat oh, yeah. the first group. I'm a little bit worried about the, the boss, though. Okay, well, the boss apparently is right there. But <laughs> there's chests down here. <laughs> I have to get the chests, man. I can't just ignore them. Are we going to get ambushed at any point? Activating combat yes, mode. yes, we are. Okay. I fully expected it to happen, to be fair. Okay, we need to heal in case that sergeant can do that. Oh my god, man. Okay, so yeah, no, we definitely need to... Level 2 missions are definitely our limit. Okay, run away. Heal. Oh god. That heal took way too long. We just need to get like a well-timed DMW up there for, for a limit break or something. Or maybe a uh, an invincibility would be awesome. Okay, he... What? We had Endure! I didn't think we were going to die because we had the Endure. I didn't... Uh... Holy crap, man. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. I saw that we only had like 200 health left, but I was like, oh, if he's doing 300 normally, we have the endure status. That should let us uh take anything he can throw at us, right? No, apparently not. Take down the little guys first, maybe, instead of... How do I... There we go. Okay, run away. Oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> One last try. One last try. We freaking got this, man. It's what I get for going into hard mode. My first time playing Activating the game in 15 years. Oh, God, we're going to die already. Ooh, that worked. Heal. 
Drop an ice cube on his head. Let's go. I don't remember how to switch. Oh, we just barely lived through that. I don't remember how to switch targets. I know it told us at some point. Octoslash? Dude, you are fucked. <laughs> it's a level 5 Octoslash, too? This guy's going down. Get wrecked, my guy. He lived! What? There is a huge difference between level uh, 1 and level 2 missions, man. Okay, apparently Endure doesn't mean shit, so... Still gotta play it safe here. Which means back up and heal. Good job. You took too long to heal. Nice miss. Fire. That's the problem. Like, Blizzard is strong, but because of the way it drops stuff on people's heads instead of, uh... Instead of, like, the fireball that chases them down, it's so easy to miss with it, man. Now well, I got too close to the edge. Okay, well at least none of you are the sergeants. Okay, well, crits still hurt. No AP cost? Uh oh god. It's not gonna matter if we're dead! Please just die. There we go. GG. Right, we still have to beat the boss, though. Uh, this way. Oh, God. And we got an extra combat. Okay, just more of these guys. We do need to reserve a little bit of MP, though, for the, for the actual boss of the area. Watch for the, those stabby attacks. Oh, dude, it's one of them. Uh, run away, run away, run away. Oh, dude, I was legit scared there for a moment. Because if that dude stabs us, the sergeant, we are donezo. No MP cost? Uh, okay, you know what? Run away. Fire. Run away. Fire. 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 Just fire for days. Oh, that hurt. That hurt, too. Null magic? He doesn't use magic. That doesn't do anything for me. You couldn't nullify physical or something? <laughs> something helpful? Come on, give us more back attacks. Let's go! Airstrike. This <laughs> is... Surely this dude won't live through a bunch of missiles and shit, right? He did. It's fine. We got him. <laughs> Blizzard leveled up again. That's not the one I want to level up, dude. Level up the fire one. Uh, I guess heal. Oh, we must be full health. Never mind. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. My controller's dead. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't... I can't do anything. Okay. Uh, see, that's why I hate Bluetooth. I didn't get to pick up the chest. I want the chest. <laughs> ah, whatever. We'll try to win still. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Okay, stop going for the staff sergeant. Get rid of the little guys first. And try not to die. Come on. Both of you. Oh. Where is Zangio? He's gone missing. I'll explain later. Things will escalate. Be prepared. Octa slash level three. Use it on big Bring guys. Out the big guns. Concentrate. Oh, wait, was that actually enough to kill him? No, no, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. We really got to pay attention to when he's going to when he's going to thrust his, his sword at us. 
Oh god. Oh, that was almost bad. Chain slash, use it. All of them. Hey, there we go. Level it up fire, finally. It's a lot easier to stand back and spam that at him than it is to hit him with our sword. <laughs> Hitting him with our sword puts us in da danger, dude. I'm so mad that we missed that one chest because my controller temporarily disconnected. I mean, that one chest probably wasn't that big of a deal, but still, I wanted it. <laughs> like, I didn't want to give that up. How hard is the next mission? It's another two-star one. Uh, I think we're going to wait to do that one. Hojo's Lab Sample Monsters Level 1. Your battle with the summon made for valuable data. I have used this data to create a new battle sim. Be my guest and give it a try if you're up to it. But I must warn you, though it is only a simulation, the damage you receive will be very real. Yeah, we'll try that one out. Activating combat mode. Oh, okay. So we're just fighting Ifrit again. Well, that should be easy enough. We already beat him once. Unless... Oh, shit. We're using the wrong thing. That's fire and not... Uh, uh, ice. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Ox slash level 5? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I should have saved that for whenever he started using Hellfire. Ow. Speaking of. No, not fire! Blizzard, you dumbass! <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong damn button. Oh yeah, we have the reduced fire damage now. That's actually very helpful. Hi, buddy. Ow. Ooh, no MP cost. I like you. Damn it. Oh, we got one off. They heal. Okay. Free MP gone. Oh, free MP back. Let's get a heal in real quick. Are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to stand there? That's fine. You can just die. It's cool with me, dude. Oh, Get yeah, wrecked. Salt. Fire X1. Not that we need another fire material, but ain't going to say no. If nothing else, it's something we can sell later on. So that was the only one of that. Seeking precious items. We have obtained information on monsters dwelling in the closed coal mines. There's a possibility that the mines were shut off with precious items still inside. Please go investigate. Uh, this one gives us a new image will be added to the DMW, the Ifrit one. As a result of analyzing the material you obtained in your fight with Ifrit, we have succeeded in trapping the creature. And chances are good that you can get your hands on rare materia. Hurry to the site. Yes. That's the one we want, dude. I want to get that uh, Ifrit summon, and then... Activating combat mode. Oh, shit. We're just fighting Ifrit again? If I had known that, I would have freaking activated the... Uh, the... the. Oh, shit. What's it called? Ow. The, the ice blade thing that we have. Ow. Excuse me, sir. Hey, sir. <laughs> oh, God. Hit him. Hit him a lot. Yes, let's go. Is this one weaker than the one we just fought? Or did that one level we got help us out that much, man? I mean, I guess actually spamming ice instead of spamming fire on him probably helped oh, out yeah, a ton. Turns out shooting a fire god with fire 
doesn't do a whole, whole lot for you. <laughs> Ifrit has been added to the DMW, a new limit break has been unlocked. Ifrit Hellfire. Mission accomplished. Hi. You need something, love? Okay. After, acquire, bleh, after acquiring summon materia, the DMW may sometimes enter summon mode. All real images will change into summon mode images, and if they match, a corresponding limit break move will be added to your stock. Nice. So do we actually unlock, like, the materia for it? I don't remember quite how that works. No. Okay. Did get Libra, though, which I like, but since we can only have four things at a time equipped, eh... Uh, you're a level one. Received information on materia hidden in the nest of an island dwelling Raijincho. <laughs> Raijincho. <laughs> uh, go to the island and obtain the materia. Okay, last one. We're going to do this one. Then that's going to be it. For realsies this time. Ow. Excuse me, why are you have the cat scratching me? Uh, these guys look gross. Why are their tongues hanging out of their mouth? Like, dude, put those things away. Uh... Okay. Hellfire? Yes. Left stick plus right stick? It's weird that the, the summon is handled differently than the, than the regular limit break. I was mashing Y trying to do that, but no. Oh, dude, our health, like, really broke. We're over a thousand. Very nice. Noodle's also breaking stuff in the room behind me, so I don't know why she's angry, but she's over here throwing stuff. <laughs> she kicked her water bottle, I think is what actually happened. It hurt, apparently. Ooh, weak to fire, you say. Oh, very weak to fire. I like. Now's the time to get that Ifrit summon, dude. Critical activated. Uh, yeah, just spam. These, these dudes are so dead. That was a really easy level one mission. Thunder times one. Hi, pot friend. All right, guys. Like I said, that really was going to have to be the last one. Um, we're probably going to play through this game on stream. Uh, what? Unable to save an error has occurred? Okay, it worked that time. Whew. Uh, we are going to end up playing through this game on stream. I don't know if it's going to be regularly at all or if it's just going to be like random. I have no idea. What I do know, though... Is that I'm going to have a hard time not playing this off stream. <laughs> hey, Zach. So don't be surprised if I end up playing it like on my own time <laughs> too. I mean, hey, if anything, that just means I'll have more practice and have a little bit of an idea what I'm doing on stream, right? Like, <laughs> that's the question. Or, uh, blah, blah, blah. The, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm dying. Now, the question for Rue is, stay up since you have nothing to do tomorrow or actually sleep? I mean, I'm pretty much always going to vote on sleep. But, like, I don't know, dude. If you got something you really want to do, then do it. <laughs> Just remember, you can't make up sleep. Making up sleep is a, is a fallacy, dude. Every hour missed is an hour missed. Get that sleep. That's, that's my opinion. But, you know, if you got a project you got to work on or a game you're really, really into... Yep, okay. <laughs> That's what I was just really into Tomb Raider right now. I want to, one of these days, play through all of them from, like, beginning to end. The the original PlayStation ones forward. Because I have damn near all of them, if not all of them. Uh, since we're done playing the game anyways, here, let me close the game real quick. It's going to go to a... Uh, to just a... Ah. We'll talk to you later, Kunsel. All right, you know what? Alt F4. <laughs> That's one way to close a game. Anyways, uh, I'll restart Steam later. Go away. Tomb Raider. I have Tomb Raider 
one, Tomb Raider two, Tomb Raider three. Ah, who's feeding the dragon? Noodle. Thanks, man. Egbert was looking pretty angry. Yeah, I have Tomb Raider one, two, and three. Uh, Tomb Raider six. I'm assuming I have Tomb Raider four, but it doesn't say four <laughs> on here and five for that matter. But I have The Last Revelation, Chronicles, Anniversary, Legend, Underworld, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Rise of the Tomb Raider. So I think that's most of the games. I don't know if that's literally all of them, but it's most of them. So I just want to play through them like in order one of these days, man. It's Tomb Raider. Since I've been a kid, Tomb Raider's always fascinated me. Um, and it's not just because of the boobies, though I mean the boobies help. Uh, <laughs> but like they always just look like fun games. And I just never got around to playing them. And the new Tomb Raider games look fantastic. So yeah, 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 yeah. One of these days. You're doing Rise of the Tomb Raider right now? Nice, dude. Is that... So, I always forget. Was it Rise of the Tomb Raider and then Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Or was the other way around? Which one came first? I always forget. She was the reason you wanted to be an archaeologist as a kid? That's dope, dude. Rise, then Shadow. Okay. Okay. I can never remember. I'm gonna I'm gonna forget that in like five minutes, I promise. But... <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Uh, So, what is today? Today's Tuesday. So, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be playing... Kingdom Hearts, we're going to be starting our playthrough of that. And then afterwards, we're going to be playing a little bit of the Pokemon TCG, as long as there's anyone up that wants to play. If not, then I guess I'll just be playing against the AI or something for a match or two. I'm not going to be on, like, super late tomorrow or anything like that, because, you know, i got to spend some time with Noodle and do all of that stuff. But, yeah, we're going to play Kingdom Hearts starting sometime between 5 and 6 Eastern Standard Time, finishing up around 8 or 9 in the afternoon, and then uh, I'm going to play a couple rounds of Pokemon TCG. I haven't edited my deck at all on on the game, so, like, it might suck, <laughs> but we're not doing any special rules or anything, so you guys can do whatever you want to your decks, and that's fine. Bitch, you're playing against me? Like I said, as long as you guys are available, I want to play. I want to play you. I see Nate says he should be good to play. I'm totally down to play a round against him. I don't know if Noodle will be home and or awake yet <laughs> uh, whenever that happens tomorrow but I wouldn't mind playing a, a run against Noodle or whatever um, and I'm going to stream it I, I trust you guys not to stream snipe if you do you do I'm not really I don't care that much but like <laughs> I would prefer if you didn't and I trust you guys so it'll be fine I'll be the trial run for the one you edited fun 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 one of these days I need to uh, redeem all of my my codes and actually build a real deck on there to play with, against you guys and uh also, we all need to find a day that we're off. I would love to have some impromptu Pokemon TCG tournaments or something like that. Since it's like, yeah. Do what now? Never heard of a stream snipe? I can't tell if you're being facetious or if you actually haven't. Stream sniping is whenever you're watching someone stream while they're playing a game to get an advantage against them. Uh, so like in a first person shooter or something, you can find their hiding spot. And I think that's where like the name stream snipe has come from. Uh, because like you can see their hiding spots so then you can snipe them essentially I think I'm, I'm not positive but I'm assuming that's where it came from but now it's just like a generic term for yeah watching someone stream to get a to get a competitive advantage against them in a game uh, which obviously in Pokemon would be a problem because you'd be able to see my hand which would who give you a quite a leg up there's a term for that there is there is it's stream sniping but all right guys I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope everyone has a good night. Rue, enjoy your Tomb Raider, but get some sleep, man. <laughs> everyone else, of course, as well, have a good night. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.